Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is all about one simple trick to get your baby to take a pacifier. If you're having trouble like I was and you want to know how to get your if you want to know how to get your baby to take a pacifier, then you have stumbled over. My name is Sweeta. I'm a registered nurse in the LA area here to share my new experience as a mommy with you all. I hope you guys like this video and if you do like this video, go ahead and go ahead and hit like, subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching guys. Now let's jump right into it. So pacifiers are a tricky thing. Babies either love them or they hate them. Well, well, personally, my baby hated the pacifier. So I was up doing research on how to get my baby to like the pacifier. There was so much content out there on Google and YouTube and all these websites, but I stumbled upon the right tool needed to actually get your baby to take the pacifier and it worked. So let's go ahead. First of all, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that any baby under the age of one be introduced to the pacifier at, at least one month old. That's when breastfeeding is well established or even bottle feeding. So just wait until your baby is about three to four weeks old to make, to make sure you have a good established feeding technique at that point. Then you can introduce the pacifier. And there are a number of pacifiers out there on the market. So choosing the one that fits your baby is actually probably one of the hardest things to do. So try to go to that aisle, get a couple of cheap ones, different sizes, and see which one your baby kind of latches onto most. And if you see your baby latching onto one more than the other, but then still spitting it out, then now let's talk about how to get your baby to actually take the pacifier. So it's simple, really. Instead of holding the pacifier into your baby's mouth and waiting for your baby to actually take it or suck on it, what you do is you take the pacifier, put it in your baby's mouth, and slowly retract it as if you're taking it away from them. That mechanism, if you do it two or three times in that one period of trying, so that mechanism will actually uh, trigger your baby to take the pacifier instead of spitting it out because they're like, oh wait, this is my mouth, That's that thing is in my mouth, so it's mine. So that concept will make your baby want to take the pacifier. Now, it doesn't work immediately. You might have to try two or three times a day, every 10 minutes or so, or every hour or so, however much you want to try. And it could even take up to a week for it to work. But when it does, you will be so happy because th because that pacifier will soothe your baby when he or she is fussy, will be there when your baby's crying during a trip to the grocery store or to the park, and will just help you and your baby. Help your baby be calm and stop crying if you guys are out and about. Or even if you're at home and your baby cannot stop crying. So that is one simple trick to try. It's called reverse psychology. So please try it. Please comment down below if it worked for you or not. It surely worked for my baby. After trying it for a good four days, she finally took the pacifier and actually accepts it rather than rejects it and throws it out. So if you like my video today, guys, please hit like, subscribe to my page, hit that bell icon, and continue watching for more videos. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Bye.